welcome back to episode 2 of this Olivetti it's the M440 and if you haven't looked at episode 1 quickly start looking at that one because then some of my statements make sense um, I have this assembled because this episode will be about we need the coin cell battery to be replaced it's dead so i have ordered this and i have a battery for it so we'll desolder this one and solder this one in the other thing is about the compact flash to ide card that i put in this is how we ended up at this assembly because it's a struggle to get in this is why you look at video number one so you understand how much it is a struggle so it's already here and if I take off the network card first and I take off the compact flash XTIDE that I was planning on putting in once I posted the video and I actually looked at the video myself on YouTube I realized again I'm getting old why am I putting in an 8-bit XTIDE compact flash card into a modern computer like this? Because the XTIDE itself, not the compact, compact flash card itself, but the XTIDE card, it emulates a hard disk. But it, we don't need that because a modern motherboard comes with IDE so the only thing I need to have is actually the compact flash part of this which I have here so what we need to be doing also is to connect this over to this and build it in the computer and for that purpose I did my first 3d printing of this front case I will make a link somewhere, probably in the description, to the actual 3D drawings of this board. And what we'll be doing is, I will remove this one, which we don't need, it's not hooked up, as we saw in episode 1. And I will pop this in here, mount it, and then have the cable, or the hot disk, go into it. And I will have to supply it with some voltage, which I get from this. So that's also what we'll be doing in this episode. So let me adjust the camera, move it over so you can see me desoldering the battery and let's get on with it. So let's get the racer card off the actual board first. So we have easy access and we need to desolder one, two, three pins and these two over there that's the plus and this is the minus this one comes only with one plus and one minus but it actually fits let me move this way it actually fits perfect for this just to sit in there so that shouldn't be a problem so let me start by trying to disorder this one I think I need to bend them a little bit over. So let's see if that's is possible. That is not easy. Let's start over here. Yep. I'll use some of this instead of I can't this one is not good enough. So let's see if we can use this. doesn't work stuck so I'll just cut them off it's easy to access yeah 
this out. Just cleaning it off with some IPA. Yep. Yep. That should be it. Need to bend this one a little bit. It's in. Make a test. Put the battery in. So this was minus, and this was plus, and it says 3.2 watt uh, voltmeter. That's perfect. Let's just make some trace. See if so. This goes up to there. Perfect. Yep. All good. So that goes back on the board, and I will then assemble it inside the computer, and then we'll have to look at the. IDE compact flash. <laughs> so it's back again. Again, struggle, but hey ho. So, next task is this one. And now that I have the camera closer, you can see I designed and printed out this 3D mounting gear for the compact flash to this IDE cable here and I made some screws mounted it there and these two screws goes into the screws that are in here so we need to have a few it's not screws it's holes and the screws need to be mounted from the back so we need to put this one in and then from underneath mount it so it should be fitting like this so let me just do that this is again a little bit of a struggle so let me just do it and we'll take it from there so hold on so it's mounted two screws in the back and it goes in there so that should be it oh sorry i need to hook in the speaker again before i miss it make a mess so that goes here. Like this. And then it clips in in the front.
Maybe if I turn the loudspeaker the right way, it will work. There we go. So let's turn it around. And then we need to hook up some power to it. that and the hard disk cable goes like this let's try to get some power on it and see if it actually works let me find a compact flash card first i have this have a gig here, which is preformatted with DOS six point twenty two. And if I turn it the right way, it will fit like this. It's power. That's a good sign with some noise. And let me see if I can adjust the camera a little bit so we get the screen with us. Sorry. I think it's like there. I moved the screen so it's easier to see, I hope. So again, we're building up from the compact flash card now. And let's go into the bias. Flavi disk is 1.44 DA drive. The B drive is the 1.2. And the hard disk should be a, as I recall, set to standard. There's no hard disk two. And let's do the memory test, which we have. Where's the memory test? Featuring, enable, power on, there. Let's do that to small so it doesn't take that long. Let's go out, let's save. Escape, let's set the date and time. So today is the 12th, 6, 2021. I have no clue what the time is right now, so we'll not leave it. And we will accept the new values and then we'll have to reboot the computer. And with a little bit of luck, it now stores that values. And we have a success. So this is now also working. So let me put the casing around this and let's see what the next task then could be. I think it's quite okay. The only thing I may change is that I actually ordered the wrong color for the 3D printing. So this is silver gray. Obviously I should have ordered black. So I will eventually order some black 
stuff to print a new one and put in so it's black. That's just me and my OCD, that is fine. So what have we achieved? Well, in episode one, I said I wanted to install this one. And as you now know, in the beginning of the video, I realized bad idea or, well, it doesn't make any sense because it's not needed. So what I did, I ordered one of these. They are from d -Lock. And we have, I screwed off this bezel that actually is supposed to be in the back. So I could mount it on the new 3D thing in here. So, and we always, also, sorry, we also changed the uh, BIOS battery, the CMOS battery. So it now actually stores all the BIOS settings. It's running, even a game. So that's a double up on my half. So what's to come? Well, I would like to have this as a computer connected to my network. And I want to install Windows 311 for work groups, or maybe even see if I can install Windows 95 on this, but let's see. Um, that will be in a future episode. So I will need to install the ethernet card into it and find the drivers for that. So that's for the future. Let's see when we get to that point. I have a lot of other stuff that I also need to attend to. So I will park this for now and then we'll come back to it eventually. So I hope you enjoyed this quick video and I hope you liked it. You know, it's this one or that one and please do subscribe. When you do that, you get notification when I post new videos. Thank you for now and see you later. Bye.